welcome to 5 Minute School. In today's video we're going to be discussing the digestion and absorption of proteins. So here we have a simplified image of the digestive system. The food will enter through the mouth, pass through the esophagus and enter into the stomach. Now in the stomach this is where 20% of the protein digestion occurs and it, this is where it begins. So pepsinogen is released by the chief cells of the stomach and it's converted into its active form pepsin by hydrochloric acid. Pepsin itself is an endopeptidase and it cleaves the central peptide bond of amino acids mainly belonging to um, aromatic amino acids like phenylalanine. Now an important thing to note is once we have more and more active forms of pepsin it itself manages to convert pepsinogen into the active form pepsin. So more pepsin is activated, it converts more pepsinogen into pepsin. And this process is known as autocatalysis. And also, hydrochloric acid itself helps to denature some of the proteins in the stomach. Now following on from this, majority of the protein digestion occurs in the small intestine. So we have pancreatic juices which are released and then these contain several enzymes which we're going to talk about now. So we have trypsin which has an optimum pH of 8 and it's secreted as trypsinogen which is the inactive form and it's activated by the enzyme enterokinase and also by autocatalysis. So we, when we have more trypsin, trypsin helps to activate trypsinogen like the previous mechanism we mentioned previously for pepsinogen and pepsin. Trypsin is an endopeptidase, so it cleaves the central peptide bond of amino acids like histidine and lysine. Then we also have hemotrypsin. It has an optimum pH of 8 and it's secreted as hemotrypsin. Sorry, it's secreted as hemotrypsinogen and it's activated by trypsin. Now, hemotrypsin is an endopeptidase and it cleaves the central bond of aromatic amino acids. Following this, we have an enzyme known as elastase with a pH of 8, an optimum pH of 8, and it's secreted as proelastase, which is the inactive form, and it's activated again by trypsin. It is an endopeptidase, which acts on amino acids like glycine and serine, and it also digests collagen and elastin proteins. We also have carboxypeptidase, which has an optimum pH of action at 7.4 and it's secreted as procarboxypeptidase and it's activated again by trypsin. Carboxypeptidase is an exopeptidase, so it cleaves the peptide bonds at the end of the polypeptide chain. Now these are the enzymes secreted in the pancreatic juice. We also have the following enzymes which are in the intestinal juice. So we have aminopeptidase, which is an exopeptidase, acting on peptide bonds at the end of the polypeptide chain. We also have dipeptidase, which acts on dipeptides, and tripeptidase, which acts on tripeptides, which acts on tripeptides. That's everything we're discussing on the digestion of proteins. The next video will be discussing how these amino acids, which are the result of protein digestion, are going to be absorbed. Thanks very much for watching.